Hey everybody, join me in today's episode of Azure Unblogged where I'm joined by Michael Flanagan from the Azure Cost Management team. He's chatting to me about how customers use Azure Cost Management and he's also sharing some tips on how to learn how to use Azure Cost Management and also how to keep up to date with all the features and roadmap features that the team are working on. So stay tuned. Hey everybody and welcome to today's Azure Unblogged episode with myself, Sarah. I'm joined by Michael, who is a Program Manager with Azure Cost Management. Michael, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sarah. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. Um, now, when customers were a few years ago looking to migrate to the cloud, they often got caught out with having to deal with cost management. Um, are we starting to see that trend change a little? Are customers more aware of the cost management piece that they now need to build into their strategy? Yeah, we, we really see the full spectrum. Um, you know, when I first joined the team, I was really surprised at how many large enterprises were struggling with that transition from on-prem to the cloud, especially around cost management. Um, uh, you know, even those that had been using the cloud for years were still uh, struggling to find their footing. Um, uh, but over time, you know, I realized that everyone's going through that same growth curve, uh, whether you're big or small, uh, there's a mental model that, uh, there's a mental model change that you need to make in uh, how you need to approach cloud native solutions and understanding that and embracing that uh, is critical for cost management. You know, but we've definitely seen some major strides over the past few years. Uh, it's, uh, it's honestly been a little bit humbling uh, to see how the community has grown and to have deeper, more engaged conversations about taking cost management to the next level with organizations of all sizes. So, so you know, absolutely, there's definitely been some uh, some movement there, and, and that's definitely great to see. So with the product Azure Cost Management, I've definitely seen growth over the last few years, um, how to implement it and use it myself for my own Azure subscriptions. Why do you think customers are embracing uh, our product Azure Cost Management? What are the real benefits for them that we're seeing? Yeah, you know, at its core, uh, the main benefit that you get out of Azure Cost Management is optimizing what you spend. Uh, you know, whether you start by seeking to understand how you're being charged or you want to establish limits around uh, what can be spent, the ultimate goal most people are looking for is really to just reduce those costs. You know, and, and there are a number of ways that you can achieve this. Uh, you know, I always tell people that uh, you need to start by understanding how the services you're using are billed uh, because knowing how you'll be charged is the first step to reducing those charges. Uh, and the best place to do this is the Azure Pricing Calculator, which gives you a great breakdown of costs for every Azure service. Uh, and you can also use cost analysis in the Azure portal to see kind of a similar breakdown of your uh, resource usage uh, for the resources you're already using. Um, and then, you know, once, uh, once you have a good understanding of what you're spending, uh, you want to enforce some limits to stay within your financial constraints, whatever those may be. Uh, and uh, budgets will help you with that by notifying you when you've exceeded any predefined thresholds. Or if you're looking to instill a hard limit, you can also use action groups to trigger custom scripts to shut down or even delete resources. Uh, and that can help in a lot of ways. And of course, we always uh, we also have uh, advisor cost recommendations to identify areas where you're you may be underutilizing resources, and together they all kind of help you understand how you're being charged, stop excessive charges, and prevent unnecessary charges. All in that effort to put more money back in your pocket and reduce what you're spending overall in the cloud. What about trends? Are you seeing any features constantly like lit up with our customers when they implement um, Azure Cost Management? Um, what does your telemetry tell you about how they're using it? Yeah, you know, this kind of goes back to the first question a little bit, um, because the biggest trend that I've seen over the last year has probably been a general growth in the maturity of many organizations. Um, you know, probably the two most notable things that I've noticed are you know, people are looking to break costs down for internal chargeback uh, and also merge their cost data with other internal business data, app usage metrics, and any other internal system that they may have. Um, so kind of seeing the maturity uh, of organizations grow uh, has been interesting. 
you know, but I specifically want to call out chargeback uh, because a lot of organizations are really digging into um, uh, cost allocation, which is a new feature that was released in September. Um, cost allocation allows you to split costs like shared network infrastructure uh, and move the costs around uh, within the organization to different subscriptions or resources or, uh, or even based on the usage of tags. Um, to ensure that uh, teams have full visibility into the costs that they're responsible for. Because if at the end of the month, you're going to end up uh, charging each of these organizations some sub, uh, some section of that cost, they really need to see that throughout the month within the Azure portal uh, so that they know what's going to happen at the end of the month. Otherwise, there's a surprise, and then they come back and say, no, no, this, this is not right. This is not what I see. And, uh, cost allocation helps kind of prevent some of that uh, those issues uh, and gives everyone that more accurate picture of what they'll owe at the end of the month uh, directly from the Azure portal. So you're, so you're talking about the organization kind of working together there with the cost allocation piece. Is that the way people should be tackling cost management? You know, it should be a team sport almost. It shouldn't just be something the IT department look after. What's your thoughts around that? Yeah, you know, many people uh, think about costs as a finance problem, but the truth is we spend more time talking to IT departments than finance teams. Um, uh, the question isn't really about finance versus IT, however. Uh, the bottom line is that everyone's responsible for cost, from leadership down to the individual project teams that are deploying the apps. Uh, cost is one of the most critical metrics uh, in running your business in the cloud. Uh, it's right up there with security, availability, reliability, and so on. Uh, you know, everyone should be talking about and keeping an eye on cost. Uh, and this is why many organizations are integrating cost data with other systems, which I had talked about before, uh, like using the Power BI uh, connector to build rich dashboards for leadership. You know, this enables everyone to monitor costs, whether you're in the portal or not. What about learning how to use Azure cost management and also think about, you know, holistically cost management? What great resources do we have available to help people um, try and skill up on, on this? Yeah, the best place to start is definitely uh, the Azure cost management and cost optimization uh, learning path in Microsoft Learn. Uh, so I definitely say start there. Um, beyond that, uh, you know, we also have this monthly uh, cost management and billing uh, blog post uh, that uh, comes out on the Azure blog. Um, so I definitely say that you should also uh, keep an eye out for those. They typically come out uh, at the end of the month. Uh, and that gives you a bunch of new information about uh, new and updated capabilities, early previews, uh, and new ways to save money with Azure in general. Uh, there's really something for everyone. So that's, that's also something that uh, that I'd keep an eye out for. So that that blog is something we should keep an eye out if we want to see what's on the roadmap um, coming forward. Is that is that right? Uh, well, there's a lot to cover here. Uh, first, let me say that uh, uh, let me go back to the monthly updates that I just talked about. You know, in December we published a blog post that summarized everything uh, that we did in 2020, and also covers some of what's coming in 2021. Uh, there's a lot in there, uh, so you should definitely check that out. Uh, I'm sure I'd miss something if I tried to cover it all. Uh, so let me just call out a couple of my personal favorites. Um, uh, the first isn't the most flashy, uh, but uh, we're focusing a lot on modernizing and evolving the platform, uh, you know, especially around reliability and performance. Uh, there's a ton that goes into this, but one great example uh, is an effort that we have to get cost and usage data into your hands and notify you about budget overages within two hours, uh, which is, uh, a far cry from what it is today. Um, so we're really excited to kind of get closer to that. And this is this is kind of a a long term, very long term project that we that we've been working on. So uh, seeing that come through for people uh, throughout the year, I think is going to be exciting for them. We're also working on a new framework for cost reporting, analytics, and insights, uh, which we announced in November. Uh, it's still very early days. Uh, but uh, definitely stay tuned for in the coming months, uh, to, and you'll see many improvements in this space. 
And then, uh, you know, in general, you'll continue to see the same level of investments around monitoring and optimizing costs, as well as a lot of efforts to just make it easier to use and learn cost management and billing. Of course, this doesn't do it justice. There's a lot more. So please do read through uh, through that blog post. Um, and, you know, don't hesitate to ping me uh, either on one of the blog posts or on Twitter. If you have any questions or you have any feedback, you know, I'm always here. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time today, Michael. That's been really insightful um, chatting to you. What we'll be doing is posting the links to the resources that Michael mentioned in the description box. So make sure you check that out and make sure you stay tuned for future episodes of Azure Unblogged. Mm -hmm.